Well, hello there. My name is Jay with CompuMatter and ServerMatter, and this is going to be a short video. The purpose of it is to show you what I did to get Duplicati uh, using their graphical user interface to send email whenever a backup has succeeded or failed. Uh, there was a little bit of brain damage uncovering this, so I felt others would benefit from it. To start with, click on the settings area and at the bottom of the settings area you'll find a default options area. There are a series of drop downs which you'll find right at the very bottom. Add advanced option. You pick an option, scroll down to the SMTP section, or send mail section, excuse me, and the, you're going to select each one of these as is applicable to your particular situation. Now, I'm not going to go through every one of them. I am going to go through the ones that are required to get the job done in, uh, in my case. <clears throat> so, to start with, I'm using send mail body. I don't know that I needed to do that. I've just used the default result, but if I wanted to type something in there as an addition to the result, I could type a little something in there. And it gives you some instructions. So that's probably not required. Let's go to the next one. Send mail level. Well, that is required depending on whether you want it to send on everything that happens uh, or just sent mails or just restored backups, excuse me, send backups or restored backups. So you can tweak that. Probably not required, probably a default, but I didn't want to take a chance. So I picked it and I set it to send uh, to all. Send mail password will be, of course, the password uh, to your email address that you're using to send that email with, your SMTP email address. Send mail subject, again, probably not necessary, but this gives you the opportunity in advance of the subject to say something that marks, you know, where it came from in addition to the actual backup. You may have multiple servers. You want to be able to, to indicate which one it's from. Send mail to, that's certainly required. And here we're going to put in uh, who it's to. And then you can put a comma and put multiple email addresses in there as well. And I think there's no limit to how many email addresses you can copy on that. The send mail URL, this is the trickiest of the bunch. I've used SMTP colon slash slash my domain, my SMTP uh, server. The port number, whatever is appropriate in your case. In my case, it's 587. But here's the kicker. Um, you have to manually put in there that question mark start TTLS equal always if you use TTLS. I have tried with SMTPS and the port number without anything extra that, thinking that that was going to get the job done. It didn't get the job done. So this may not be the solution for you. It may be that the S works for you and the other one doesn't. But bear in mind, it was a trip hazard for me. And you do have some details down here that proved relevant. And it's how I ended up discovering what the solution was. Finally, send mail username. In this case, um, the person that is going to be validated on the server. So that has to be your SMTP, a real address that will match up um, at your SMTP server environment. I've also included this backup test samples, and you can set that to one or none. In my case, I've used five. And what that does is it requires Duplicati to look at five of the files that is backed up, test them against five of the files that are in the, um, the backup source material, and validate that the backup was a success um, based on the total of what it normally does plus that validation. All right, I've got one more thing that has proved to be a value here. Picking all of these things one at a time is great, but when you have to make edits to it, um, it's much easier to do it from a text box instead of all these individual lines. You still have to select them from the lines to begin with, but when you're done, click on this Edit as Text link, and down at the bottom here, you see it converts all of those drop-downs into a single text box, and you can then change them to whatever you want to, modify them one line at a time, freehand, and then make sure in every case, when you're done, you hit the OK button in the lower right-hand corner to save your changes. 
And one last thing I want to point out is what I just did was a global change. So I want all backups to notify me. And so I put the same information in for all of them. You may want individual backups to notify individual people or overlap it in any way you, you want to. In that case, instead of settings or in addition to settings, settings will be the default. Uh, if you set it there, you can go to the actual backup that you're doing and click on the command line under the advanced section, you see command line. Click on that, scroll down. You'll see the same kind of options down here that you see in the settings side and every SMTP setting that you had in the other area, you see send email body, send mail level and so on. They're automatic, they automatically put in the same information that you chose in the global area, but if you overwrite it, it'll use these. If you have nothing in the settings, nobody gets anything. And if you want to put something here, they'll get it on an individual basis. All of that applies. And that's it. I hope that helps you in your world as much as it, uh, has helped me in mine and will probably help me in the future when I have to refer back to this very same video. If you like videos like this and you want to be first in line, be sure to click the subscribe button. And if you're so inclined, click the like button. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.